Hello, everybody. We're back at the beautiful Bahia Mar on the rooftop here. We have like this gorgeous moon coming up, all these amazing people. Thank you, Jimmy Tate and Lisa, for hosting us tonight on the road to Riptide. So if you want to go to a beautiful beach, we have like the most beautiful beach in the world. One of the things that's really a little bit puzzling, and how do we have a beach that beautiful with guys like you who are out there cleaning it up every day? So... I had the privilege of actually looking at my email this morning and seeing an angel that's out there cleaning the beaches up. And, and let's, just, let's just take one minute. Do you want to just say hi to everybody and talk about the Fort Lauderdale Beach cleanup and what you guys do? Because this is incredible. Just Terrific. say hi to everyone. Terrific, Pachi. I'm Barry Levy. I'm a director and vice president of the Fort Lauderdale Beach Suite. Uh, the second Saturday of every month, we get 50 to 150 volunteers come out, help clean our beaches. We're partners with the City of Fort Lauderdale and the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the city and county do a great job of picking up a lot of the bigger trash. We're out there with our volunteers. With this little trash, it's like that big, right? And the fact is, sadly, you see a lot of that. Ah. It ends up being a big ashtray. We're out there to make pristine beaches in Fort Lauderdale our jewel. We pick up... It, in a four-hour period once a month, eight to 10,000 cigarette butts. Say that one more time. So in four hours, four hours eight, eight to 10,000 10, cigarettes? In two years <laughs> of doing our once a day, once a month beach sweep, a quarter million cigarette butts. Barry is the rock star we on the beach, love right? Love oh, my see, God. We would love to be put out of business yeah. and not have cigarette butts on the beach. Unfortunately, Tallahassee. It just keeps coming back. Keep coming back. Tallahassee, our state government, controls our beaches. And they do not allow local municipalities to have restrictions such as no smoking on the beaches. And sadly, this is what we have. People don't think a little cigarette butt means anything. 10,000 cigarette butts in one Saturday. Our volunteers are always shocked and surprised at how many we pick up. The toxins that leach into our system are horrendous. And we would love to see no smoking on the beach. But in the meantime, we have terrific people with big hearts helping clean our beach. The second Saturday of every month, come on out to Las Olas and A1A, referred to as the hub of Fort Lauderdale, and help us clean our beaches. It's a great time. Kids get community service hours out there. We have had uh, the Florida Panthers' Victor, um, Victor E. Rat come out. We've had... Uh, Shrimp Louie from Bubba Gump come out. We oh, had Shrimp the Louis. Fort Lauderdale Mounted Police come out. The <laughs> mayor helps with us. City council helps with us. The mayor's yeah. out there. Go Jack. Jack yeah. Jack, so, Jack Go Jack. Is yeah. An incredible supporter. Yeah. And you know he's not running for office, and he's still out still there doing it, helping with the trash, Go Jack. The trucks. He's really a dynamic. So if guy. someone wants to actually be involved, where do they find What's your website so they can find well, you? Go on Facebook, Fort Lauderdale Beat Sweep. You'll see all our information out there. Come on out. Support us. Help us. Uh, every month. It's a fun day. Every month? Every month. Second Saturday of every month. And if you're an early bird, you want to you come out and see the sun rises. It is incredible art. Unique art every day. World class and it speech. It is inspiring. Yeah, yes. And uh, you'll, you'll do nothing but smile for the rest of the day. <laughs> so let's keep going on this. But before we do that, because you have this lovely sidekick here, you got to introduce her. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Hello. My name is Paola Espitia, and I'm actually a local marine biologist, and I'm an alumni from Nova Southeastern University. Female scientist. We need lots Center. more of you. Go, girl. That's High five. Right. Yes. Go, That's STEM right. females. Okay. And Wait, what, what type of science are you in? Just so I we actually, know. I studied uh, marine biology and coastal zone management over at Nova Southeastern University. Nova? At the all Ocean right. Graphic Nova, Center. yeah, Guy Harvey Institute. Exactly. Go Derek, the Guy Dr. Burkholder, who supports all our programs. Love Derek. They're, yeah. they're fantastic. Yeah. And I Love studied Nova. coral restoration. And so that means that if you all don't know, let me tell you a little something about this. This is really neat. In Fort Lauderdale, in our area here in Broward County, we actually have three reef systems that run parallel to our shores. And it's a very unique coral reef ecosystem. We are very lucky here in the state of Florida to have these coral reefs right here in our backyard. 
And there was a really neat, neat thing that happened. I, as a research scientist, I was studying these coral reefs, doing a lot of coral restoration here locally, as well as so, down in the Keys. So Nova has this cool thing going on right here off the beach from Riptide, right? It's exactly then, right in front of where Riptide is going Ken to be Ken Niedemeyer, I'm a big fan of Ken. You know Ken down in the Keys, Ken right? Ken Niedemeyer is Go fantastic. Go Ken, long fan of Ken. Hi, Ken. Whoa, Vicito's <laughs> in the house. So Ken Niedemeyer on the, the, the like south side, all the way up to right. Derek and Nova, all these guys all working together, supporting each other with science. Exactly. And so, it's because it's all part of the same, same reef Same thing. Well, Barry's talking about the beaches. Mm -hmm. So all of this particular relationship between the beaches and the coastal ecology combined with what's going on, the aquatic systems and the terrestrial systems, so like amazingly interwoven and people don't get that, right? Super so, true. That, that's exactly what So talk what, what to that point is. about how the connection of the work he's doing with that stuff in the ground, right? With the nicotine and all the toxins there leaching into the water and the effect that has on the, the marine ecosystem. Right. Go ahead. Well, yeah. We are actually super lucky to be living down here in South Florida because we have all of these canal systems here in our backyard. That's why we're known as the Venice of the Americas. And this waterways are directly connected to our ocean. Venice of America. And so everything that, that yes. happens in our backyards is also affecting our beaches it and our ocean. It always ends up there, yes. And so we actually, um, I, I just started a local eco-tour. It's called Blue Discovery Tour. And the idea is that we want to try and reconnect you back to our waterways because Blue they're Discovery beautiful. Tour? Blue is there a website? Discovery Tour. Website? Yeah, you can actually find us on Facebook as well, Blue yeah. Discovery Tour, and you can also find us under Blue Moon Outdoor Adventures. Awesome. We do eco tours on kayak, on water shuttle, and on some really fantastic private electric boats. So we're really trying to minimize Incredible. our carbon footprint on top of it while we're out in the water. And we talk a lot about sustainability. And it's a really neat, we have a really neat area here because we also go right by the Port Everglades and the shipping industry that we see coming in and out. And so we can really get a better sense of where things come from. So not only as locals do you get to reconnect to your waterways and see these beautiful wildlife that we hear, that we have right here in our backyard, but then you also get a better sense of where things come from because we do have this shipping industry that, that's very uh, vital to our economy, but um, you know, it gives you a better sense of what it means to buy local and eat sustainably. So we're all about, first of all, female role models in science. God bless you. High five to that. And a lot of people talk about the world and what needs to happen. So Barry is out there literally every month, second Saturday. Saturday, Second Saturday month. on the beach. Right at the hub. So wait, let's let's show a couple more of these pictures. Check this out. So take us through this stuff, Barry. So what goes on when you guys are doing your thing? So we okay. We have volunteers. We yes. have pickers. We have like buckets. That, that's picking up exactly. cigarette butts. Cigarette pickers <laughs> and little okay. pieces of plastic. Yeah. Buckets. Okay. Next. Gloves. Help people out. We weigh them afterwards. That's. Uh, are you in trouble Lord here? Mount, are you right. being supported? Yes. That's the Fort Lauderdale <laughs> Mounted Police supporting us. Okay, go for Lauderdale. Yes. Now wait, wait, wait. Stop on that one. Check this out. Go back to that one one more time with that the bucket there, right? One more. Go forward once. Forward. No, forward. Not one more. Forward. Now, this is a plexiglass pit case. One, one more. more. Yeah. Right there. How many cigarette butts? That all came off the beach? That all came off the beach. Yeah. That's, now, listen, we've collected wait, a quarter million. Look, look at the camera and ask people, what are you guys thinking? You're flicking that stuff into the beach? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Like, how many people, wait a minute, if we count this right, how many people actually are sitting out there saying, I don't friggin' care, right? How many thousand times did somebody, like, guys, if you're going to smoke a cigarette, which do a little, you know, I'm not even going to go there, but if you're going to put that onto the beach, it's not an with ashtray. all due respect, that's, that's probably... That may be 150,000. And this is one bus. beach in a world, right? Right. right. And, and you, it, you're out there every weekend? We're every, 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 we're every, every month. Every, week, second. every month. Uh, we're also uh, annually wow. in September. There's the uh, um, Ocean Conservancy. There's a worldwide beach cleanup. And there are millions of cigarette butts and all sorts of other nasty trash picks up, picked up on our beaches and our shores. But this is Fort Lauderdale Beach. We want... We don't want clean beaches. We want pristine beaches for our our own residents, our tourists, for our livelihood, and for the e ecology of our entire system. It's all connected. So, so we, yeah. we would fight. We would do anything to hopefully ban cigarettes from the beach. And th those things those things don't degrade, right? No, so that's they the just, other they issue. They leach into the system. 
So the toxins that are in there from whatever's been put in to get it people... All goes in, it goes into the system, gets into the ocean, gets into, gets into our food, food cycle. Right. Yeah, so, th- that's a good point to bring up, too, is that I, I think a lot of people don't actually recognize. I mean, we, we can sit here and say that everything is connected, but we're actually, in, you know, in, in the scientific community, we're seeing how there's elevated levels of hormones or of drugs in the fish that we're eating, and it's all a result of because of the things that we're finding on the beach, the things so that we're a, seeing in our So from a scientific perspective, by virtue of the connectivity, so that habitat, by virtue of the leaching and the water and the connective, all those tissues, one animal eating another animal, without getting crazy scientific, you don't really need to even think science. It's about math. If you have this connective chain to this one eats, this one eats, and we eventually eat that, whether it's a shrimp or whether it's a a snapper or whether it's anything that we're actually enjoying, even the pesticides on our salads, all of this particular reverence and appreciation of environment with what Barry represents, with people going out there and making that remarkable difference to get those toxins off the beach, which eventually, if you think about it, when it rains, that stuff gets wet. Those toxins, by virtue of leaching into the water, every animal that when we go swimming, and we're swimming in this, by the way. Right, Bear? What people don't get, let's let's try it this way. Fill that plexiglass with water. That water, if you were to pour that on the beach, guess where that's going to go? When you jump into that water and swim, guys, are you getting this? It's actually pretty simple. The connectivity, respect equals respect and reverence, right? There's a really neat thing, too, to consider. Now, we always talk about um, that we want to make our systems healthy and that there's a value in the ecosystem and for our health. But something that people don't actually also recognize is that having healthy waterways actually benefits us uh, in our everyday lives. So we become much more calmer, more focused, just more productive and better people happier when we're by these clean waterways. And so we're not even just talking about wildlife. I mean, obviously we want there to be healthy wildlife and a healthy ecosystem. But at the end of the day, when we have these healthy waterways, which is what we're known here in Fort Lauderdale for, this Venice of the Americas, when we have these healthy waterways, it actually ultimately benefits us in our everyday lives. It makes us happier. So why wouldn't we protect that element that just brings so many positive benefits to our everyday life? Absolutely. So, so Barry, one more time. So everybody, and thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. So every second Saturday. Second Saturday of every month. We arrive any time between 7 a.m. and we are done at 11 a.m. You're an early bird, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. If you want to come really early, see incredible sunrises and feel the energy of the day. And starting. help help fill those up, right? Absolutely. Help us at pristine, pristine beaches on Fort Lauderdale. It is our jewel. We are blessed. Amen. And where I'm, can people find more about the Eco Tours to get out, get off the couches, put the cell phones down, and go out with you guys and your right, team? That's right, right. What's the, cell the phones website again? Down. So you can actually find us at bluediscoverytours.com is where you can Rock find out. a little bit more about those tours. And actually tomorrow, Sunday morning from 9 to 11, We'll be at Dania Beach with our kayaks. We are hosting a waterway cleanup with Soul Saving Ocean Life, which is a really cool um, youth advocacy program that What's does a lot the, of beach cleanups. You have a website? Ups. Where's their website? So you can find them on Facebook, Soul, S-O-L, Saving Ocean Life. Love and it. And you can find more about that waterway cleanup there tomorrow. So on the road to Riptide here at the Beautiful behemoth. You guys will be at Riptide, right? Absolutely. We'll, we'll try to do something fun with Ashley O and the Shark and all these great intercom stations. Thank you guys so much for coming. And Thank you guys you. will be here all night live on beautiful <laughs> Facebook Live rocking from the beautiful Bahiamar. Thank you guys so much. Okay. You just Thank keep.